Hi, I'm Rex William Sim, aka Harry D3 Prince of Sin. This is my first ex explanation video of my self-made chart, and today I want to talk about the Imperial ranks of Ming Dynasty princes and Imperial clansmen. This chart is made by me and also involved by the assets of my friend Prince Liang, who draw the coronet images for the chart. So let's get started. Firstly, we start from Emperor's heir and his descendants. In ancient China, Crown Prince was styled re imperial son if the Crown Prince was the son to the Emperor. Crown Prince would have different styles depending on his relationship to the Emperor. If the Crown Prince was the grandson to the Emperor, he would be styled re imperial grandson. In history, there were also the existence of Greek imperial brother and Greek imperial uncle. In the entire dynasty, there were only two Greek imperial grandsons. The first Greek imperial grandson was Zhu Yingwen, later the German emperor. He was made crown prince by his grandfather, Hongwu Emperor, after the death of his father. The second Greek imperial grandson was Zhu Zhanji, later the Shenda Emperor. But the situation of Zhu Zhanji being granted the title was different. He was granted the title in 1411 when his father already met Crown Prince and still alive. Chen Wen Emperor formulated the officer's costumes for Greek Imperial Grandson after he ascended the throne, and the officer costumes were the same as a hereditary prince. Next, let's talk about the creation for Greek Imperial Son's other son. Other son of a Greek Imperial son who created the period of second-hand prince. But this situation hardly occurred throughout the dynasty. This is because most of the emperors after Shunde were ascended the throne in a young age. Even Hongxi Emperor's fourth son was posthumously created the title Prince of Jingle when he died when Hongxi was the crown prince. Next is the period ranks of Emperor's other sons and their descendants. There's one thing that must be mentioned here. Since Jing Dynasty, princely period was divided into two ranks, which means Prince of Blood and Prince of Earth Commandery. In Ming Dynasty, first rank prince could be inherited by cadet lines like brothers, uncles, or even cousins. And second rank prince could be inherited by own direct line descendants, but some candlelight members also obtained the succession of second princely peerage to improper tricks. Except the eldest son, all other sons of emperor were created first rank prince. After establishing of the location of the fee, all first rank princes need to go to the fee when they reach a certain age and cannot leave without permission and return to the capital. Also, the princely peerage, peerage could be passed down limitless, unlike Qing Dynasty's princely peerages which could only pass down by downgrading rank. Due to this system, there were 60, 64 first rank princely peerages exist in the end of the dynasty. The eldest son of a first rank prince would make the title Heredip Three Prince. Like Emperor's heir, Heredip Prince would have different styles depending on his relationship to the current prince. If the Heredip Three Prince was grandson to the current prince, he would begin style princely grandson. But would only have same privilege and salary as first rank military officer. They will also have the record of the existence of princely Greek grandson. Yet other sons of a hereditary prince were created the title Defender General. Next, all other sons of a first rank prince were created second rank prince. Same as former, heir to second rank prince also had different styles. Since Yongle Empress Rang, second rank prince's eldest son would carry the title Chef Son. If the heir was grandson to the second rank prince, he would be styled Chef Grandson. One more thing I gotta point out 
first rank prince, hereditary prince, and second rank prince were princely rank peerages, and the imperial rank imperial clansmen below the second rank prince were not longer belong to the princely rank. They would not begin granted any princely privileges, instead became styled the titles general of lieutenant, and cannot be inherited. Their sons were created the title by downgrading and having the same costumes and salaries as military officers. Although using the names general and lieutenant, they had not any military duties. This was different to the imperial clansmen of Song Dynasty. Also, their salaries and officer costumes were same as third to eight rank officers in Hongwu's rank. It was changed since Yongle Empress and Truman. Their salaries and costumes were changed, became sent as first to six rank officers. Last but not least, let's talk about these lower ranks. Except the eldest son, all other sons of a second rank prince who met the title Defender General. Some sons of second rank prince would also begin met the title Bulwark General due to their mother's slow status. And the costumes and salaries of this rank were same as first rank officer. Next up, son of a Defender General would met the title Bulwark General. Supporter General for son of Bulwark General, Defender left them for son of supporter general, Bulwark left them for son of a defender left them, supporter left them for son of Bulwark left them, and son of supporter left them will have the same title and not downgrading anymore. I also need to state out titles for sons of Prince of Jingjiang. As the cadet line is not direct descendants of Hongwu Emperor, the princedom's rank was higher than second rank but lower than first rank. Other sons of a prince of Jingjiang would only make the title bulwark or supporter general. Because the dynasty had such a standardized, standardized imperial clan system, the imperial clan had a very large population. For an example, for an example, during Hongzhi Emperor's reign, Zhu Zhongyi, Prince of Qingzhen from Shanxi, had 92 children. When Hongwu Emperor founded the dynasty, there were only 49 of imperial clansmen. Until the end of the dynasty, the population of imperial clan had increased to nearly a million. As imperial clansmen could not have any jobs, this system had caused the financial problems of the government. Since this video is mainly about introducing the imperial ranks, I will not be introduced the specific salaries and privileges of the imperial clan here. The, intro the introduction to the imperial ranks of the Ming dynasty ends here. If you want to get this chart, you can get it from my Reddit post. Currently, I have completed the part of the coronation costumes for this chart series. I may create a chart about salaries of imperial clansmen. Then I will also take the time to explain some of the charts I made myself. If you like this video, remember to give a thumbs up and share it. Thanks for watching.